See this? It says video.pass. This is important for making the second pass. Go to compression, and this is where you can set whatever you want. Second pass. Now I recommend you choose target size so it bases the bitrate on the complexity of the frames. Choose, say, we want it to be about hmm, 7,000 kilobytes. Okay. And this is where you can set the audio compression. Go to lame MP3, 130 average bitrate. Click OK. Now choose save as AVI. It'll use the same pass file that we had. And then you can save over it, whatever, but we're just going to save next to it. Oh. I don't know. Something got screwed up. Damn. Okay, let's try this over again. Direct stream copy, compression, configure, two pass, one pass. You want to make sure this is set to where it is, because if you move it, like I did on accident, it's not going to work. It'll discard the first pass. Now you go like that, okay, save as ABI. show you the internals if you really care about this. You can choose an XVID not to show that. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Choose the highest so it'll go faster. Now go to video compression. If you want to uh, get rid of that thing, you go to other options and display encoding status if you don't really care what those mean. Go to our second pass and we'll want to do this again. Oh never mind. Go to direct full processing mode compression it'll be set from last time since we failed. Save as ABI it'll discard the first pass. And it'll take a bit longer than last time perhaps but it'll have much higher quality than it would if it were just done one pass because two pass the first pass it jots down information about the file and the second pass it bases off that information to optimally get how it can well you know how it can get the most out of the file first pass is about 60 percent accurate second pass 90 percent third pass 98 percent five passes is just like a waste so you'll get a file like this compression never goes higher than what the file originally was so quality on this was pretty good for seven kilobits and you notice like video needs a lot of data a lot more than audio so anyways that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you later this is Frosty Owens going out